We end this part of the audio tape with a personal account of someone whose life changes illustrate this point vividly. My name is Pumzile Mlongwana. I was born in East London. At the age of 13, I moved to stay with my aunt. Things were even tougher because I had to look after cattle and we had to go and plow. There, we would plow in the mornings and after school as well. Our schedule was according to the moon. It doesn't matter if the moonlight is at 2 a.m. in the morning and your last shift was 9 in the evening or 10 in the evening. As soon as the moonlight is up, then you go back to work. You still be, you're still expected to perform at school the next day. Those were very hard times. My performance was very, very weak at school. Even the school principal and the other teachers were complaining about my work. But nobody cared to do anything about it. I think I was the worst student at school, and I would feel embarrassed about it. Working in the field was the first priority, and looking after the cattle. School was not important for them. Well, I felt like I'm a slave. I even told my mother, I don't want to live this life anymore. My mother was working in Johannesburg, and she would only come back when she's on leave. That's when uh, I suggested to her that I need to go to the boarding school because I can't live like this anymore. And then she took me to a boarding school. The teachers were very effective. We were given homeworks regularly, and we would do regular tests and exercises. So I was more involved in my schoolwork than I experienced previously working mostly as a child than uh, studying. By that meaning working at home, doing uh, plowing and looking after cattle. So that's what was different and that's how the life at the boarding school was for me because we also had study hours from 7 to 9 p.m. we would go for a study hour which was compulsory. I think the school was fully equipped because for the first time I experienced working uh, in a laboratory whereby I would experiment some of the things which I'm reading from the textbook. And we, I think we had everything, the, the chemicals, everything that one would need to use for, especially for scientific experiments, which is chemistry. Most of the things were demonstrated to us. We had audiovisual material that was used. I remember we would watch videotapes for science and uh, mathematics. We used to watch uh, video material for biology as well, which I find very uh, helpful and encouraging. Because I remember even during school holidays, I would feel that I'm encouraged to go to even a winter school. At some stage, I went to a winter school at Vets because I became so enthusiastic about my education. In fact, when I was a student, I wanted to, to be an engineer. I had passion for maths and physical science, and I was good in those subjects because those, those were subjects I really liked. But through time, I changed my mind because our school took us to Grahamstown Arts Festival. And then my mind just changed. I wanted to be an artist. Then I decided I'm, I must find out what must I study in order to be an artist. Then I went to drama school at Reds. You know. 